But God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved, and raised us up together, and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ephesians 2 semicolon 410. Good morning Father, blessed Holy One of Israel, and all of your family in the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory, majesty and honor are yours and due to you by your family, my Lord. Your love is amazing, past all our understanding and wonder. There is no other God than you, praise you forever for that alone. I am so thankful you are our God, the lover of our lives. I come today for my heart is touched so by your great mercy and love for me, for all mankind here below. May you bless my reading and prayer over these holy scriptures this morning. I come in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Lord, you know that we have been studying the gift of grace, what it is to us and what it can be for any who take hold of it. Grace, the word and its truth is so much more to me than ever. It is not just a word we use when talking about you and the Lord Jesus, no, it is love spilled out in blood and poured over us that we might be called holy, righteous and having power and authority in your name. Grace is more beautiful and wonderful than we can even grasp right now. My Lord, I do believe that we will not fully know its magnificence till we reach the other side. But we can still operate by faith in you and your word even though we may not fully know all about it, your grace towards us. Just as I accept by faith that I am forgiven of my sins. I am accepting, by the same faith, that your grace is over me and fills me and gives me everything I need to do all I am given to do. I have been thinking so much lately about your great love and holy devotion to us your great patience and kindness that you extend daily and moment by moment over our lives, over me. Who am I that you would love me so, is true for me as for any other that would say that. Father, I feel your love for me as I never have before and I feel that you are sharing more of your heart with me as I seek your ways and let go of my own will, for yours. Here Paul shares that we were created by you to do great and good things while we are here. They were prepared for us long before we were even born it seems, they were predetermined and set forth for us to accomplish. I am made for such a time as this, and in the place you planned for me. All my boundaries were set forth for me long ago. I am unique and special in your eyes and heart and you gave me all the ability I need to do what tasks I should do. Our only deal is to trust you and do what we know we should then we are living in and by your grace and not of ourselves. And your grace will carry us as long as we put our hope and trust in your words and wisdom given us in this holy Bible. I am to simply do what it says for me to do. And Lord, I think I am learning that submission is way more than a word, than a will, it is an act of obedience to you. Submission is coming up under another to lift that one up. When I submit to your will, and your words of life, I lift you up by my life that others can see. When I submit to my husband or other authority over me I am lifting them too by my will to honor them and their position you gave them over me. Yes, it is humbling but we must learn humility. Lord Jesus, you are the perfect example of humility in a humble heart. Who are any of us to think us better or higher than you, my Lord? You are the image and reflection of Father God. If you can take off your cloak and wash your disciples' feet why can I not submit and love others with humility? The answer is, I can. I am your workmanship. That makes me special in your eyes and in your heart. I do not need to fear or worry over others' thoughts or opinions about me. What you think of me is all that matters. You are the final word on my life, 
no other person is. No matter what happens or what others may say or do, only your voice, your approval matters to me now. I am a child of God. A child of the Most High. I have position in Christ Jesus and loved by you. I have been given power and authority in your name and I must use it by faith, trusting this book is what it tells me I am and what I have. I can and will walk by faith and not by my feelings and sight anymore. I choose to walk in your words of life. That I am holding to that, and I am sure I will be tested on. But I hold on to and will walk it out because of you, Jesus. In and by you, your spirit alive in me. Lord, I close this time with you for now, in your very loving grace to me given by your name, Amen.